Good morning, masterminds. Welcome to another work vlog. It's been a while since I did the last one. <laughs> well. Hello, boss. I'd like to sleep more. Can you give me my life back, please? Pay me more. <laughs> I was expecting it this month, but my bosses haven't scheduled with me a job performance review. So I'm unsure of when to uh, request a raise. Gotta try to keep up with inflation. <laughs> Maybe my birthday coming up. Be like, hey boss, gift me. My uh, second anniversary with the company. I've decided not to work out today because I have a lot of notable experiences to get through. And yeah, I know, I'm just tired. <laughs> I actually broke my goal, my workout streak. So from January 1st to April 10th of this year, I was able to do at least 100 push-ups per day. On April 11th, I intended to do push-ups that evening, but I slept for so long after giving myself a haircut. <laughs> I woke up at 4.54 a.m. on April 12th. <laughs> it's a long sleep. And uh, I haven't worked out since Last Thursday, yeah. I've just been resting. Feels so good. My mood has improved. Um, still feel drained because you know working six days a week is draining. <laughs> Makes me feel unhappy. <laughs> anyway, so it looks like I forgot to mention on December twenty second of last year. The Christmas gift envelope for my bosses was attached to my paperwork. I wished the office ladies a Merry Christmas that day. January 3rd. Um, it says evening. Oh yeah, okay. A former employee of my driving school contacted me on LinkedIn. She was interested in poaching me and or staff for the driving school she now works for. Um, January 4th, I found a note with my paperwork de detailing how to find COVID-19 testing. I assume I was given it because of the student that informed me the night before of the need to reschedule due to having COVID-19. My first student on her second lesson annoyed me with her poor sense of direction. I say left, she goes right. Uh, my 2.30 p.m. appointment slot wasn't filled. 5.30 p.m. student couldn't move up. January 7th, I had a 25-year-old student, and it was a Morgan Day Hill. I mean, Morgan Hill Day. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, January 8th, South Asian Day. Just a lot of South Asian students. <laughs> January 9th, I witnessed the worst practice test score yet. Um, a Korean, or as of that day. So, the Korean kid made five instant fails through seven reasons with 34 regular points lost. January 11th, I had a 54 year old Filipina. She's an anxious driver and had already failed the drive test twice. She's a funny lady though. High spirits. I got her to ease up by celebrating her progress, making her laugh, and trying to speak to Gaelic with her. Uh, I checked our Google reviews and noticed two familiar names, each giving a five-star rating. I made my last student cry. It was her second lesson and her second time with me. Um, she was still anxious and couldn't make much progress. 
I told her I couldn't overcome her fears for her and that caused her to break down. Her dad told me not to feel bad because as a teacher and her parent, he understands the fine line between coddling and making progress. January 12th. My second student told me I look very young. It started by him asking me what school I go to. <laughs> oh, young. I'm almost 27. January 13th, another Morgan Hill day. Someone in a beat up minivan tried cutting me off on the freeway and got angry I didn't give way. Um, so the driver cut me off further ahead and I flipped off the driver. Uh, January 15th. As I was preparing to head to my first student, I saw my female boss pull into a parking space in the row behind me. I looked into my right side mirror shortly later and saw her next to my car. She noticed I was startled, waved at me, got into the school car next to me, and presumably drove off to get maintenance done. It was a Gilroy day. I had only 30 minutes to drive to Gilroy. I was late by 7 minutes. I informed the family. The mother thought the lesson was at 2.15 p.m., so they arrived at their home a few minutes after me because they were at Costco. The guy annoyed me for the first hour because he wouldn't take the basics slowly, but we somehow finished the first lesson content plus lane changes and roundabouts. I arrived to my last student back in the San Jose metro area with a few minutes to spare. He is a South Asian or Middle Eastern person that sucks at driving. I had to treat his second lesson as a first lesson. Before I left the office, I took two of several N95 masks on offer from my bosses. A note and the masks were left by the key rack. Yeah. January 18th. Uh, the worst practice has test score I've seen yet. <laughs> uh, the Asian kid intending to go to UC Irvine made six instant fails through seven scenarios with 34 regular points lost. He made me laugh uncontrollably. He made me laugh uncontrollably because he just gave up on. My gosh, my my grammar here. He made me laugh uncontrollably because he just gave up during the backing maneuver and awkwardly laughed at himself. I helped him make a lot of progress. I let him pick my brain about UC Irvine. January twentieth. My boss asked me if I'm okay with having a new hire shadow me. I agreed. When I got to the office, I found my 2021 W2 in my cleaning kit. The new instructor, a teacher of music to little kids, was impressed when I parallel parked our 2021 Hyundai Elantra in front of my first student's apartment. He observed me get frustrated with a Vietnamese guy and an Indian girl, especially with the latter. She couldn't even do right turns. The first time, or no, yeah, I had, it was my first time getting out of the car to cool off, because I was just losing my mind. <laughs> he helped calm her down and guide her once I got back in the car. I dropped him off at the driving school before I went to my last student. That student was a breeze to teach. January 21st, a young white guy in a white Prius pulled up in front of the driving school and said to me, Hey man, you look great today. I just responded, thanks, you too. As I prepared my school car for the day, a young kid in the suburban in front of me laid on the dashboard and started sleeping. And then my first two students that day are named Madison, both Asian girls. January 23rd, my second student cried during the lesson because she came to realize she's not a good driver after my unrelenting insistence to do things properly. Speeding, uncontrolled maneuvers galore. January 25th, strange occurrence. When I had my student attempt parking along the curb in front of her house to end the lesson, I opened my door to show her we're too far from the curb. I heard a man call my name or a name similar sounding. I looked, I looked back at him with confusion. 
He was calling his dog away from us. January 26th, the loudest I yelled, holy shit, with a student in the driver's seat. Unusually, my first student pulled over and didn't slow down. Um, later, I was prepared when I had him pull over in front of his house. Ah. <sighs> he offered to shake hands and then he tells me they're sweaty just as my contact. Disgusting. I used tons of sanitizer. My second student, a spacey dumb blonde, annoyed me. January 27th, I had to cancel my first and second lessons because the students didn't have their permits. The first student told me her parents lost the permit, and the second one assumed he didn't need a permit because he's 18. I went home after the first cancellation because the supposed, I mean supposed to be second student lived close by to my home. I didn't try moving up the le I didn't try moving up that lesson because my schedule noted he needs to be dropped off at work. My 5.30 p.m. student moved up to 4.30 p.m. He is among the best students I've had. He came into the first lesson knowing how to drive due to being a car enthusiast and having practiced in a manual 98 Mustang he's restoring with his family. I easily taught all that is tested for. He finished uh, his other lessons with me in the following months after. February 2nd, my female boss suggested I take two days off per week for my sanity. A Vietnamese lady, the parent of my second student, gave me a $20 cash tip for the Lunar New Year. February 4th, I lost my school car keys after arriving at my second student's place. They slid into my backpack, which I moved to the back seat before stepping out of the car. Uh, my student approached me while I was searching. <laughs> February 9th, my third student, this young Mexican dude, asked a lot of deep and personal questions. He's a decent driver, so I went along with the Q&A. During that lesson, I saw Jill's sibling, another 2022 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport and Boost Blue. February 10th, um, one of the office ladies thanked me for being easygoing, as I had to switch vehicles twice. The keys for my first assigned car were missing, and the next car I found, the instructor rearview mirror detached from the windshield. February 11th, a stressful day, 35-year-old Indian woman. I didn't realize she overpaid when she put the money in my envelope. $105 due, $130, $130 paid in a 10, a 20, and a 100. I didn't check the payment as I was more worried about leaving ASAP to get to my next student. I decided to not keep any remainder. <laughs> Um, thought about <laughs> First day of three consecutive days, the 34-year-old pregnant Indian woman. She told me she failed the drive test twice already and wanted me to help her build confidence. That's just the hardest part of the job. <clears throat> During the lesson, a white guy with all kinds of right-wing stickers on his car was trying to make us race him. And then the best way to describe my last lesson that day, Dunning-Kruger effect. February 12th, I saw an ambulance parked on a home's driveway, no emergency around. I passed by that same place recently, last month I think, still there. <laughs> February 13th, uh, my biggest tip amount in a single day yet. $40 cash plus $5 cash locked in with the overpayment from the pregnant Indian lady. Uh, I left a note on my time card asking for it to be given to me. I'm happy I got the $40 because I... Because my 3.30pm slot wasn't filled. The lady that gave me the... Th the lady that gave me the $40 made me laugh when we were talking about her son. She called him a knucklehead for being an unstable driver. <laughs> F 
February 15th. I gave a 31 year old Indian woman her second lesson with our school. She told me she did lessons with another school. Her geometry is poor. She kept doing left turns into the opposite side of traffic. I offended her when I said, this isn't India. I had to drive her home because she couldn't do basic residential driving. She sat quietly with crossed arms. I even told her her previous instructors wasted her time and money. <laughs> Job stress making me savage. <laughs> February 16th. I got another $20 cash tip from the Vietnamese la lady I last saw on February 2nd. During my third lesson, I saw for the first time a house decorated with Valentine's lights. February 17th. Morgan Hill, Gro Morgan Hill Gilroy Day. I had 30 minutes to get back to San Jose. I encountered a CHP speed trap, but was luckily in the middle of a cluster of cars. <laughs> 20, uh, <laughs> February 19th, 2019. I saw a goofy car, uh, uneven purple and white different panels. Yeah. Just ugly. February 20th. It was my last student's first time on the freeway. She did well. When we exited and stopped at the traffic light, she took her hands off the steering wheel, and I saw beads of sweat dripping down. <laughs> I forgot to hand her her permit before leaving. The mom contacted me, and I returned ASAP. The mom told me her daughter is devastated. She was crying and angry that her parents haven't taught her the right things and they're considering postponing the test. February 22nd was a Gilroy day. The Vietnamese lady gave me a $30 cash tip before her son and I went to the Gilroy DMV. He passed with a perfect score and that was my first time witnessing a perfect score in person. The real test. Um, I had to inform the office that our scheduling got this appointment wrong because it showed a regular two hour lesson instead of a three hour DMV escort. I had them fix my schedule. Originally, I had two students after, but one decided to take her second lesson another day. On our drive back, I saw a truck pulled over on the freeway shoulder and then a guy peeing between the trees. When we arrived back, the Vietnamese lady gave me $20 <laughs> cash and told me she's going to have me teach her younger son soon and refer me to her circle. So that day I had the biggest tip amount I've received in a single work day, $50 and the biggest tip amount I've received from a single client, $90 total. And then later that day, I saw a truck with only the front tires lifted. February 24th. My second student, an awkward, tall, slender white kid, tried to shake my hand when we met. I recoiled and the awkwardness intensified. My last student told me he doesn't want to start early because he's eating lunch at 4.30 p.m. When I met him, I, under <laughs> I understood why. He's a big guy and he's a long lunch time. March 1st, a new instructor shadowed me on my first appointment only. February, no, March 3rd. First of multiple lessons with a 33-year-old Indian guy. Actually, he only took two. Excuse me. March 4th. I took my first student to his DMV test and he passed with three errors. An Indian lady that failed almost hit my driving school car when she was reversing at the space next to it. 
I had to guide her out. My student asked me to help him prank his mom. She was shocked when I told her he failed right at the start by falling off the curb. When he showed her the score sheet, she burst with joy. She bursted with joy. Let. Oh, okay. Latest lesson I've officially been scheduled for 6 to 8 p.m. My last student was on his third lesson, and it was my second time with him. Um. I had explicit frustration from his cluelessness. March 5th, second lesson with the 33 year old Indian guy. And <laughs> I haven't seen him since. Um, he still didn't get past right turns in a residential area. We got honked at multiple times by many drivers. I honked back at one that passed us and gave us the stink eye. He honked back multiple times as he drove off. <laughs> I eventually got so frustrated that I was brutally honest with him about the chances to get licensed. I stayed quiet for 30 minutes just letting him drive by trial and error. He made a little bit of progress but still he can't understand the processes. The processes I have taught for traffic checking and steering, just thinking about it just makes me tired. Last student forgot to bring his permit, so we returned to his home to get it. When we ended the lesson, I forgot to hand it back to him and drove back to return it. March 6th. My second student got six critical errors and 36 regular errors in the practice test we did. Worst I've seen yet. And that's to date. <laughs> My third student dropped his phone under the seat early in the lesson and I forgot to grab it. Luckily I heard the phone vibrating as I was adjusting my seat and mirrors around the corner from his house. So I returned it. March 8th. My would have been second student got into the driver's seat and then told me he isn't in the right state of mind and wants to reschedule. During my long break, I noticed in my driving school app that credit for my first lesson disappeared. I immediately thought that the girl called in to complain. I was <clears throat> calm and constructive the entire lesson, even when she almost crashed us into oncoming traffic during an unprotected left and the curb when pulling over. When I returned to the office, I scared my coworker. She didn't see me walking up to the office as she unlocked the front door. She didn't turn on the light and got startled when I opened the door with my hood on. March 9th, I did end up receiving a complaint. <laughs> the uh, girl's mom called in. My male boss told me through text that I was still paid for the lesson, but a free extra lesson was given to the girl. Because my bosses weren't in office, he told me we'll talk about it the following day. And then that night, I had one of my worst nightmares ever come to reality. I spotted a brownish yellow nickel sized spider crawling on the interior side of the front windshield. <laughs> Luckily, I spotted it as I neared the gas station I frequently fill up at. If I spotted it as I was on the freeway, my goodness. <laughs> I tried to kill it, but it hid somewhere in the trim. I drove to the office quickly and got the fuck out of there. March 10th. I arrived 15 minutes early and talked with my male boss. He understood why I used strong language, oh shit, during the lesson. He mentioned that in the last three months, <laughs> the office received six calls about my shortness slash attitude with students. However, his assessment is that my stress comes from overwork 
not my personality. <laughs> he told me he values me and wants me to find an outlet and or improved work schedule to reduce stress. He joked that a punching bag should be installed at the office and I should have a blunt instrument in a controlled chaos setting. During my first lesson, a kid decided to run in front of our car at late notice. March 11th, my female boss complimented me on my haircut and was impressed I did it myself. I had a 19 year old autistic girl I vibed with because she appreciated my direct communication. March 12th, I received a $20 cash tip from a Filipino family that adores me that improved my mood due to a cancellation I experienced. March 15th, I filed my taxes. I ended up owing $964 because of selling assets to help me get my car. And more significantly, lowballing my projected annual income for healthcare through Covered California. Somehow I didn't factor in my uh, pay from travel time. Uh, March 16th. My first student requested to let me... My first student requested to let him get lunch before heading home. We went through a Chick-fil-A drive-thru. March 17th. The wrong pickup address was provided on my schedule. So I was eight minutes late to pick up my first student. My last student, a privileged, scummy, entitled, whiny white kid that will drive an expensive BMW annoyed me. He couldn't pay attention and complained about the traffic laws. Example. It doesn't make any sense to enter the bike lane for a right turn. He sucks at scanning, decision making, and maneuvering properly. He asked dumb questions. March 20th. I dropped off the school ID and my last student on 315 left in the car. He contacted me as I arrived home. He told me he found his ID in his bag, so I didn't bother to go back to the office. I still found it where he left it though, so maybe he has two school ID as well. Yeah. March 22nd. I had my most impressive Indian student yet. He's a 28 year old guy. When we were on the way back to his place, I saw a guy driving a black Mercedes with dick etched into the driver's door. March 23rd, I was asked to train a new instructor. He shadowed me for all three lessons, 12, 2.30, 5.30 p.m., and was very impressed. During the first lesson, the student jerked the wheel during a turn and he hit his head. <laughs> March 24th, during my second lesson, uh, my student and I had to switch vehicles due to a turn signal malfunction, common occurrence. I was surprised we were still able to have time to practice tests more than once. We did three tests. She, to she chose to save time and just try her luck not going through the routes again to see her mistakes. During my third lesson, an old lady approached me as my student and I took a stretch break. She told me she's a friend of my male boss's mom and wishes them well. She confirmed, and I had suspicion, that my bosses are divorced, <laughs> but my female boss still carries his last name. Um, it's nice that they're on good terms. March 25th. I was asked to train another new instructor, a young woman originally from Alabama. She got to observe me do a DMV escort and teach a first time driver. My student, the 28 year old Indian guy, passed his test. My last student did a California roll in front of a cop. The cruiser was to our left making a left turn. And this was during our practice test. <laughs> 
or I let students make mistakes. If they're really dangerous, then I'll stop them, but... <laughs> yeah. Nothing happened, thankfully. Luckily. I received another cash tip. This time, $20 from that student's mom. March 26th. First time giving someone a lesson not on my schedule. The dad of my last student asked me to take his son instead of his daughter. I did so, submitted lesson completion under my original student's name, and noted the situation on my time card. March 30th, an office lady informed me my DMV appointment is canceled because the guy already has his license. So I had the latest start to a workday so far with my 2.30 p.m. lesson. March 31st, the mother of my second student tipped me $30 through Venmo. February 9th, uh, no, well, well, <laughs> geez. April 9th, during my third lesson, my student and I encountered a big group of motorcyclists. As I headed to a gas station, I saw another big fire happening nearby the driving school at a home improvement retail warehouse. Pluming black smoke, big dark cloud, emergency services and news helicopters. April 10th. Um, was the start of my two day weekend. Is that right? What was April 10th? That was a Sunday. Yeah. I had a two-day weekend the following weekend. Sunday and Monday again. That was... 17, 18. Uh, April 12th. An unexpected instructor training. My boss didn't ask me to train anybody. But uh, the Alabama girl greeted me as I exited the office and she shadowed me for my first and second lessons. I learned from her that the other male instructors that shadowed or that she shadowed cursed during their lessons and that made me feel a little better about my short temper as of late. April 13th <laughs> I had the tamest road rage. A guy cut me off on the freeway without signaling because he, he, he just didn't realize he had his lane was still there and he was drifting over. I was like, what the f I tapped my horn, then I pulled up on his left to shake my head at him and wag my finger. Like, <laughs> he was like, but uh, I think showing disappointment is just better. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> April 16th, my first student, an Indian girl on her fifth lesson, my second time with her, two days before her test, cried from failing my practice test. And then a coworker informed me my second student was at the office as he was confused about where to meet. I was snacking near his home when I received the text. As I drove that student home, I demonstrated for the first time severe road rage in front of a student. A driver uh, did a sudden stop, or I mean, a sudden drop in speed while merging into the center left turn lane. Um, the person honked back at me, to which I gave the driver the finger and yelled obscenities out of my window. <laughs> The student was laughing and agreed with me, though. <laughs> and he's used to hearing his uh, dad road rage like that. <laughs> uh, when the father of my last student informed me, why did I put one? 
confused by what I typed here. Let me understand this. The father of my last student informed me he moved his daughter to our school because her last instructor yelled and cursed at her. She did irritate me, but she thanked me for such a calm and productive lesson. April 19th, my boss called me as I was making my way to my first student in Santa Clara. I think he wanted to have a new instructor shadow me, but I told him I'm too far out on the freeway. My second student was a bad Indian driver on her final lesson days. Oh yeah. <laughs> My second student was a bad Indian driver on her final lesson, days before her test. Um, my last student, a respectful Mexican kid that drives very well, brightened my day. He called me sir, and we had fun talking and laughing most of the lesson. April 20th, I was asked to train a new instructor. Or, well, it's not really a training, because he's been a driving instructor for a long time, which is showing him how things are done at our school. He's an Iranian, Iranian, American, that came here as a refugee during the revolution, and has been a driving instructor for a long time. He joined me for my first and second lessons. During my third lesson, I saw a lifted minivan. And then on April 22nd, the mother of my second student gave me a $20 cash tip. I made a good call to update her after the lesson. Yeah, all of those notable experiences. Ugh, I have to get to work. My energy level has sunk on the drive over to the office. What are your ideas as to why? <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a long day. Uh. Today was more strenuous than I thought it would be. <laughs> My first and second students... Um, I had to treat their second lessons like a first lesson. Gonna... <sighs> so annoying. Second student. Blonde girl. White girl. <laughs> uh, annoying. When it's not talking. I'm ready to go home and relax. It's time to reheat some food for dinner. Got some curry. I use Maya Kaimal curry sauces. Chicken thighs. I, I, my onions from Sprouts sprouted, so I didn't use onions. <laughs> but I put tomatoes in it as well. Make some garlic fried rice. San Pellegrino too. The Vindaloo is advertised as spicy, but I can handle it. Uh, warm dinner. Mm. That looks good. I prefer San Pellegrino, um, the blood orange flavor. So damn good. They just went out of any uh, decent San Pellegrino drinks, so I decided to try it, LaCroix. Mm. Perrier, good for uh, mixing with cocktails, or using as a mixer for a cocktail. Which dessert do I want?
I still intend to work 24 days per month. I just want to hit a certain income amount. Um, but maybe I should take my boss's advice to work three days consecutively instead of six days consecutively. <laughs> Perhaps I'll try that in July because I'm already scheduled up to June. Uh... I need to work out for less days but with higher intensity. I need to rest more. Oh, I'm feeling my age. My goodness. Masterminds, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you by May 15th, alright? Alright. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, be smart for your heart. Good night.